Hey, this is Osman Gaming, and welcome back to... Actually, I should have gone the other way. Oh. Okay, so I did end up starting on the right end of the flames, thinking that I had to go through them once again. And now I have to go through them again, because I messed up pretty badly. I'm gonna drink this. I don't want to go through the abyss again. I am stepping right into that void. And I'm gonna take down these rats one by one. Because I don't think I can do a double kill. What's in here? Money! Alright. So that means, actually, technically, if I say, like, if I went there and I died, no matter what, what I did would be worth it, well, I mean, I guess the save point's not there, so I can't really say if it would be worth it, because I would've, it would've been like I've never done anything. That, I mean, like, the rats would still be rats. Aha! Uh -huh. Man, that's... I mean, ah, uh, it's, it's not that I'm mad that it happens, I'm just mad that it can't happen to the rats. Jeez, like, why do they get special, I don't know, treatment? I mean, I know that they're not the most skilled of fighters, but come on. And I need to get a combo going, so I need to use one of your rats for a little bit of help. Just kind of like slam sword on. Yeah, all right, the combo's there. No, oh, okay. I'm gonna go right over here and deal with you. Actually, there's nothing over here. All right, actually, there was something over there. Well, all right, all right. Oh, ooh. these rats are. I mean, I would say that they're no match, but I've, I've, get, I've been killed by them plenty of times, so. They have a pretty good match against me just because of environmental field. Like, I don't know, like, water Pokemon do pretty good in the rain. I guess an avatar of the sun's out, firebending is a lot stronger, and... Let's see, any other nerd references I can do? Nope, okay. So, I'm gonna go and get these nice little blue ones. Gonna smack these jars. Oh, it's spider. Ah, oh, gross, gross, gross. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I should say, like, from last episode, I don't like bugs in general. I should probably say that. And I did get to a nice little save point for a second, and... Ooh, the riddle of the ancient kings. Okay. Oh, how fortunate that you came along, young archaeologist. Can you help me? My boyfriend, Hand How, is trapped in a cage somewhere in this room, but I cannot find the way through the maze. What's your skill? Okay. I'll get your, your man friend back. Alright, so I assume I go down here, I press that button, and... Um... Alright. I'm, I'm... I don't know what's going on with this, I mean, I probably... We'll figure it out kinda quickly, but... I guess I need a lot of flash bombs in here. Because there's nothing else that I've gotten. And, oh, I kick these around. It doesn't seem like that hard of a maze. Of course, I'm just right in the beginning. They're trying to lure me into this false sense of security. So, um, let's take that. I'm going to go there. Yeah. Going up a little bit. I'm gonna kick that over there. Well, that's maybe not even a good idea. Is there going to be enough room for me to sneak right through? Yep, okay. This maze is kind of not that best of a maid. maze, I mean. It's not amazing or anything, but, oh. No, I messed it up. Actually, I can fix my, I can fix it, yeah. Alright. Let's save the hand before he, uh, gets shipped off to the zoo or wherever pandas go when they're in cages. And, uh, activate that. Good. Ooh. And that guy, number two. How many more of them are left? I am... Okay, there's one more. So... Um... Where's your man friend? I have no idea where he could be. Alright. Well, uh... I couldn't find him. Yeah, that's... I'm fine with just that. Alright. Actually kind of reminds me of, like, the Finding Dory like, commercials, where it's like, um, I don't know, it's like Merlin, or 
Marlin, I guess I should say, not Merlin. What is this, King Arthur? Tch. <laughs> Arthur and the Seven Dories. Woo, alright. That's a fan fiction of a Disney movie I'd make any day. Oh, there's a ladder. But it was like in the... In the trailer for the video, it was like... Uh, let's just take two and leave, and I think it's supposed to be a reference of... Let's just take two of these random goldfish and call them Dory's parents. And then, I mean, of course, Nemo's had experience with that kind of stuff, so he was like, Dad? And it was kind of like just, oh. I'm not sure what even go went on with that. Please tell me it didn't restart the entire, it restarted the entire puzzle. Okay. Well, alright. That's fine. I guess I'll go around the other way this time, just as something a little different. So, up there is just a puzzle tile. Alright. So, I'll just kick that over there. Kick that here. Sneak through there. And, uh, at the top-down perspective, I can't focus on stepping on the stones. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Alright. And if I walk off of it, I'm still fine. Alright, that's what I needed. Ah, man. The mistakes that turn everything into kind of a su success, I would say. That worked out really well in my favor. Alright. Uh, advice at the end of the day, mess up, you'll do something good with it eventually. I don't know. And push that back. Go and push that over there, so that's what I was trying to do the first time with these maze blocks. Oh boy. Alright, at least, like, it's kind of, like, a fast push. Like, in Zelda games, it usually takes a while for, like, the pushing of blocks. At least if I remember right. I mean, I could be completely wrong on that, but... Alright, this way I'm supposed to go? Yep. Alright. Oh, there he is. Woo! Alright. Go. Go to your lady. Alright. Actually, um... I think one of my favorite things that was like similar to that kind of situation was like in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. There was like a thing where you need to like rock smash like this cave. And it's like good because it brings you back to the earlier areas in case you just want to go back there. But there's like a little scenario thing where like a couple is like trying to get back together because they were separated. And like the the guy is actually like said to be working all day to move the boulders but he can't and he's like still going for it and then with our like level one I don't know I'm trying to think of like the weakest Pokemon that can learn Rock Smash like a level like one Charmander could do it a lot easier I guess Charmander's not weak at all it's just uh, first thing that came to my head that had Rock Smash um, yeah, I don't know why I can't think of any weak Pokemon that learn Rock Smash. Let's see, I know Sunkern can't, Magikarp can't. Um, I guess Pichu can. Oh, yep, save the Hunto and the, uh, yep, woohoo, I got my monkey, I mean, Jade Lion, wow, I don't know why I thought it was a monkey. Jeez, okay. Oh yeah, I, don't, I actually kind of like wonder, like, why there isn't, like, any pig creatures in this game. It's, like, one of those, like, smaller things, like, I feel like should be a thing, but aren't a thing. Like, I don't know. It's, like, part of it, like, thinks, like, I kind of, like, eh, some of it's, like, characters should be kind of based off the Chinese Zodiac, because I learned, like, recently that the fire starters are actually all based off the Zodiac. Oh. There's fire. It's kind of like annoying how like the it gets slowed down by the oh that's actually where the guy there is no way that's a pot. Um, is there gonna be like HP that gives me back some legal rest back? Oh no! The, oh no! Oh no! That choking animation. How can you get there fast enough? I like guess there has to be like little things to like let you like move on through. Maybe this way. I mean, it's not the light that I want at the end of the darkness, but at least it's some kind of light. Jeez. 
when it's like you sound like it's gonna be like a gentle like execution oh I'm back in normal spots okay oh all right I don't know if I like got used to this or what but okay, I'm cool with it all right and oh man my blue flame all right thanks for sticking around with me buddy I kind of imagine I like a ghastly but blue that'd be actually a pretty cooler um, version of a ghastly instead of like the shiny Gengar that doesn't do any changes the only time you can like really notice it is either like the sparkles or like the mega evolution which looks awesome it's it's white I, I don't know it's, it's a lot better than just making it like the regular color palette I actually wonder if there's any other like mega Pokemon that actually do some kind of like different coloring for Mega Evolution. Oh yeah, I guess Primal Kyogre. I I count him as a Mega Evolution. I, I it, usually people are like, oh no, it's a Primal Evolution. It's like, um, no, it's not that different. Okay, so there's some stuff going down on the killing floor, and I don't know what's going on. Oh, is that it? Literally, is that that all there is? Oh, I gotta somehow get up there. Okay. How do I do this? Oh, oh, there's bats. Bats, no. Okay. Oh, I get up by those things. Okay. Oh, I could probably get up there with... Yeah! Woo. And I somehow am predicting these things pretty well, actually. Like... I don't know. I kind of like the flight prediction. I got a little tempo in my head. Like, yep. Oh, that was actually pretty... Uh, the bat ruined it for me. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, nope. Oh. I understand why this is called the killing floor. Okay. Well, at least the name, is, the name has meaning. I mean... Oh, uh, does, like, your name have any sort of meaning that kind of kind of works, but I don't know. Because, like, I don't know, Sam, I forgot what it means. Moving on. Osman, not sure what that means at all. Okay. Well, that's it. So, n names with meaning, yeah. That's, you guys got any of those? Or, um, okay. Nope. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. I am really bad at this little kind of thing. Actually, my uh, last name means victorious people, so it's kind of ironic at this point. Woo. It's nice and Greek, so that's a bonus. I mean, you could tell because it ends in us. Actually, my last name is Nicodemus, so... Yeah. There's part of it. Alright. Um... Jump from there to there. Oh, that was a bad jump. Ooh, all right. These blades are a little crazy. All right. Nope. Okay. This this feels more like you know it should have blades in it, like the floor of killing blades versus like taking away like the the blade of abyss or whatever like that. Actually, I should probably run back. I don't even know if I can run back. Wow, I, I got nowhere to go. Okay. Goal, run back, get the save, so I don't have to do quite as much. But I guess I'd still have to go across the fire plane, or whatever it is, so I guess I should just keep pressing forward, keep all my stuff, because... Oh, no, you're not going to take anything away from me. Actually, that'd probably be a lot better, because now I can kind of just jump from... I could have jumped from place to place, but nope. Okay. Uh, that was actually a pretty cool idea for a little bit. Oh, nope. Never mind. Okay, I fell. And I'm not moving. Um, I don't need anything from the shop. Alright. So, my instincts tell me to go this way. Up those pretty stairs. Riddle of the Ancient King. Oh. Wait a minute. Do I have to still cross the... Oh, boy. Okay, they're still there, so I don't have to really solve anything that much. 
Oh, and the puzzle is saved to where I had it last time. All right. This is nice. Very, very convenient. Um, wonder if this will actually work. I mean, it makes things like simpler. And hopefully I don't need to go back here again because I'm not gonna die. At least I keep telling myself that. Then that probably means I'm gonna die. I mean, I try to be like the survivor, but... I guess in order to be the survivor, you have to survive, so... That isn't working quite as well. Okay. So, up here... Actually, that I don't even know if that's... That wasn't the right place to go at all. Oh, boy. Well... I forgot there was, like, the other little route with the blue shards or something like that. That very differentiate the quest for love or the quest of not love. Brilliant. Naming conventions as usual. Alright, that way with the red. I don't know what the gems mean at all, but I imagine the red is for, I don't know, power. I guess in... I don't know, I read like a book and was based off of China and it was an English class, so of course everything had to go in depths that no regular reader goes. But red is like a symbol of power, love, marriage, whatever, so why that isn't the one that leads to the, um, those guys, I don't know. Or it can really even be like, just like the boyfriend, girlfriend that's like, I need you for prom and that's it. And it's like, okay. So, eh, who knows? I mean, the, she could have been concerned just because, like, oh no, if he's not there, I can't go to prom. No, I mean, of course you could go by yourself, but... Uh, why would you if he had the power to, you know, not go to prom? I guess, like, for the guy, it's like, I don't need to pay for the ticket. But the girl wants the, uh, ticket because, like, I don't know. Usually, like... I imagine the guy is usually paying for the ticket, or at least that's what my mom tells me to do. Well then, alright. Uh, I was, um... Right, blades. Okay. Oh. Nah, those bats. They almost kind of look like gold bat at a certain angle. Like, I guess pretty much most bats look kind of similar. I mean, they're purple. That's, uh pretty good revealing of the goal bat thing. Actually, never mind. They, it was just the lighting. They, they honestly look a little more like Noivern, but not Noivern. Yeah, these are unique bats. Uh, 10 out of 10, brilliant ideas, completely original in all ways, shape, or forms. Alright. Nope, over. Un actually, undershot that. If I was an overshot, I would have been on the other side, which I guess I would say that's a really good jump. But at this point, if it's not going to land to where I need it to go, out. Oh. I don't know why this is so hard. I think it's just because I'm not doing it right. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna go over here and get that. Yay, alright, a tree. Brilliant. Alright. Gotta time all this stuff perfectly, and... Yep. Alright. I guess it's not even hard to predict when this stuff is gonna happen, so... I guess that's also another thing. With the nice little blades. I think it, like, lowers a little bit before it goes. But, or I could just be like... Oh, yeah! Alright! Haha, I did it. I finally learned how to walk across this. Alright, and I gotta take down these bats before they really mess with me. And, uh, yeah. I don't even know where I'm trying to go. I mean, I'm probably trying to go to the very shining light over there. Oh, ow. That's okay, there will be HP on the other side. You just gotta push forward. No, oh, I was so close too. Oh man. All right. Well, 
I'll try to take another go at it. Then if I fall too early, I'll go for another go. But hey, at least I figured out some stuff. Never mind. I guess it was probably just a one moment kind of thing. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna try to outrun the bat. That was probably a bad idea. If I wasn't like too in the hurry to go run away from the bat, I would have made the good jumps and kind of go through the situations in a normal pace. Alright. I'm gonna do this next time on Austin Gaming. Get across to the area I need to be and hopefully get the last of the Jade Lion statues or at least find a key to get the hammers. I don't plan on getting the hammer but you know it feels good to know that the keys are actually there. Well, bye bye.